Hi, I'm Kevin of Springfield Leather. Today we're going to talk about a couple of <clears throat> happy little tools. We have a happy little stitching groover and we have a happy little overstitch wheel. Some people call it a stitch marker or a stitching marker wheel. Whichever, that's okay. There's different styles and sizes of all of these things. Uh, a stitching groover is a very handy little tool. I've gone ahead and moistened this piece of leather a little bit so you can see it better. It has an adjustable little little blade if you will here. You can loosen this and move it in and out so that you can get a different width of border. And all we're going to do is take it and put it down here and pull. And as you can see you got a happy little groove in your leather. And that's really nice because you can sew with your happy little thread and your happy little needles right there in that groove and that'll keep the thread from from wearing too fast. Now in order to know where to sew some people like to use this little tool called an overstitch wheel and we're gonna run it right inside that groove and that marks the places where you can sew. Now there's different sizes of wheels, so you can have your stitches closer together or, or farther apart, whatever you like. If you're really lazy, and you, if you want to have a border that looks like it's stitched, but it's not, you can do this. I'm going to go right over those same little marks here, if I can fit them in the same place. I'm going to push. Matter of fact, I'm really going to push. Now, here's a good lesson. When you push really hard, you get a nice area that actually looks like it's been stitched. And when you're not careful, you get an area that does that. That's not good, as you can see. So when you're using a stitching wheel, a marker, you want to be careful. Now, another thing that you can do with an overstitch wheel is you can take a product that's already been sewn, and if you have the correct wheel, you can run that right over the existing threads, and you can push pretty hard. And what this does is it sets your stitches. Now, this has already been done, but it sets your stitches and give the, gives them a more machine stitched uniform appearance. And it really works good with waxed thread. It works better with waxed thread than it does with uh, machine thread. If you've sewn a project, product or a project with a machine, you probably don't need to do this. If you stitch something by hand, and you want to make it look really good, boy, you can go over that and it works really, really well. When your leather is wet, just right on the top of the leather, you can almost make it look like it's been stitched. That's basically it for a stitching groover and an overstitch wheel. This also happens to make a very good border just as it is. You can adjust it as we mentioned. That is if you have a wrench. And you can run a double border down the side of a product. So happy stitching, happy grooving, and happy marking.